Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to make a flipbook. Now, when I first went about going to create this, I thought, oh, this is going to be easy, but it turned out to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. And I've come up with some workflow tips in order to make this easier. So let's just start with a brand new composition. I'm going to use this footage that I've used in a previous tutorial of a friend of mine walking down the stairs. You may recognize it from the looping gift tutorial. Now, I don't need the whole thing, so I'm going to bring it to where he's kind of coming on. And I hit this trim button to set the in point. Set the out point, And then let's bring that down into my flipbook. Okay. First thing I'm going to want to do is to pre-compose this. So let's Command Shift C, pre-compose it, add footage to this as the name, move all the attributes. The reason why I did that is so I can go in and swap out the footage anytime I want, maybe adjust the start and stop time really easily. So the basis of this is I'm going to be using the CC page turn. Now if you don't want a page turn, you want to actually physically move the position, the same thing works. Just follow the steps and instead of using the page turn, use the position. So let's start by adding the page turn. Go to Distort, CC, Page Turn, right there. I'm going to change the radius a little bit. And then let's keyframe this. We want it to start down in the corner. Keyframe, fold position. Go forward seven frames. And then move it off of the frame. Okay. And let's go ahead and I'm going to hit U on the keyboard while this is highlighted, this layer, and it'll bring up my keyframes. Highlight both those keyframes, hit F9, it'll easy ease them, and then I'm going to click on this graph and I want to make it so it's a kind of a shallower curve at the beginning and then goes faster. Like that. Okay, and then this last frame, what I want to do is I want to chop this layer right here where my mouse is. So I'm going to hold down Option and then right bracket and it'll chop it right there. And then let's add one more thing to this, or actually two more things. Let's go down to the effect, down to time, and let's force the motion blur. And that's way too fast, so I'm going to bring this shutter angle down to 45. Maybe even 15, just to give it a little bit of blurry. Let's go to 20. That's looking pretty good. And then on this, the opacity on the page turn, let's have the back opacity be at 100%. Okay, so there's our page turn. And what I need to do is I need to pause this video because in a flipbook, it's not video, it's actually a series of pictures. So I need to have this video freeze frame, but I want it to be a different frame for every single layer as it flips open. And there's an easy way to do this with expressions to make it easier. So first we need to add the freeze frame. So we go to layer, time, freeze frame, and then to this let's add an expression. So remember it's alt or option, click on the stopwatch, and the expression is first in parentheses, type, index, minus one. And what that is, is the layer index. So this is layer one, because it's the very top. So one minus one is zero. And then the next one will be layer two, minus one would be one. And it's a way of being able to series something that way, sequence things out. And then we want to times this by, I'm gonna put in just one for now, divided by 24 and 24 is the frame rate of the layer, or of this composition, in parentheses. And that one I'm gonna change later, because that one is different depending on how you do your keyframes. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna go through, and I want the, maybe this, the next to start on this frame. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six frames. After six frames, I want the next one to start to be turning. So let's go and change that one to a six, and that's how you do it. 
and let's then also bring this layer down so it's only six frames long. And that's going to make things easier when I sequence it out. Now all we have to do is duplicate this a few times and then I'm going to highlight the top layer then select the bottom layer while I hold shift. So make sure you start with the top then select the bottom. You can't go the other way around. And go to animation, keyframe assistant, sequence layers. And this is going to sequence them one after another all the way across. And I need to do one more. And you want this stair step pattern stairs going down. Now if I highlight them all, I can do that where I change the beginning time, but I don't want to do it that way. What I want to do is if I just hold down option and then hit left bracket, and it'll automatically line them all up perfectly. And what this is going to do, you can see here, is it's going to have a flip, a flip book effect and each page turn the image is still but it's going to be flipping across and that is the effect pretty simple and it's easy to change this to whatever you want if I want this to be faster so there's more pages turning well then I need to just change my in my time remap expression right here this six, if it was, say, only three frames, and then I sequenced it out as a three frame composition before, then I would change that to a three. Remember, this was six frames long, so when I sequenced it out, that's why I have a six there. So I hope you learned something cool, and if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below, and uh, I can get to them, and hopefully I can answer them for you. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I put out new tutorials every week, um, at least two. Uh, sometimes I do even more. So, but on Wednesdays are quick tips. On Fridays are longer tutorials like this. And so there's lots of great new videos every week for you to enjoy on this channel. So I encourage you to subscribe. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.